Hello, Matthews. Gato's here. I'm here in the kitchen with Lulu this time, and we're going to do an experiment similar to the last one with cones and cylinders. So for my cone, you can see if I put it on top there, they do have the same base area, so the circle is the same, but the heights are just a little bit off again. But you can see they are pretty close to each other. So again, I want to see how many of these cones it will take to fill up a cylinder. So back to my experiment with my colored water. I'll fill it up to the top there and put it in. So one for sure fits. Let's try another one. There we go. Two. And it looks like I might be able to fit in a third one. Is this gonna be the same as the pyramid experiment? Let's see. So we're up there and it looks like three fit. So if I line up my height there, you can see the height is pretty bang on to that as well. So three cones to fill up one cylinder, which means the cylinder has a volume that is three times bigger than the cone. Or you can look at it from the cone's perspective and say its volume is one third the volume of the cylinder. So that's again why we divide by three.